In today's video, I'm going to be using the Vintage Snowman Collection from Crafter's Companion. This cute little die set, we're going to use this to make a cute Christmas card. I'm going to be using the amazing Off Nova die cutting machine. Yes, this slim machine is a die cutting machine. Look how amazing these just fold down so you can use your machine. The handle cranks so easy. This is really well made. Cut your regular dies. Your thin embossing folders will go through this. This is one of the embossing folders that come with the actual machine. You're gonna get numbers and your alphabet dies. All of this comes with the machine, so all of this. You get your A platform, B cutting plate, which all of your die cutting goes onto this. Two C plates used for your embossing folders. Assistant sheet, which I haven't personally had to use this yet. To cut your thin dies, you're going to need your A platform or B cutting plates. So it's going to need one of the C plates and all your stuff goes in between that will run through the machine. Start out by using my window die and I have a piece of HTV Ront glitter cardstock. Put that in between the plates and run it through the machine. This machine cuts glitter card stock really well, so I was really happy with the results. And they just pop out just like that. I have a piece of fun foam, and I'm gonna lay that down, and I'm gonna use my window die again to cut that out. Fun foam cuts really nice in this machine. Gonna need this piece right here. Two pieces, I've got my glitter cardstock and my fun foam. Run a little bit of glue along the back of the glitter cardstock. Glue that piece down to the fun foam. It just gives it that little bit of pop. Now underneath of here, I need to cut just a little bit of this off because it's gonna hang out on the bottom if I don't. So I'm just going to cut up through here and cut that little portion off. I don't need that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue down here on the bottom. And glue it just like that. You can see the dimension I just created. I have this paper pack from Hobby Lobby and I need a blue. So this is a really pretty color. That's what I'm gonna use. My window die, and I'm gonna send this through the machine. I need the middle piece out of this. So I'm going to lay this off to the side. I'm going to bring in my embossing folder that came with the machine. I'm gonna spritz the back and front of this with water. Now that I have this spritzed with water, I'm going to lay it inside just like that and close the folder. I don't need the B plate. I need my two C plates for the embossing folder. Run that through. Look at the embossing on that. That works so good. I'm so impressed with how this embosses. This is a little bit damp. I'm gonna let this dry while I'm cutting my other pieces. I have the Waffle Flower A2 Layers die, and I'm going to be using the third one in the set. Stunning blue paper from HTV Ront that I'm going to be using. I do apologize if you see any cat hair in the video. I craft with kitties. They stay in my craft room all the time, or at least now they do most of the time because Butters has got out of the house twice and I thought I was gonna lose him. It was not a fun experience. So kitty stay in the craft room now. So if you see kitty hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have this beautiful layer for my card. I already have my card base made. So I just need to add a little bit of tack to the back. So I'm using my Crafter's Companion Dotty Tape and just put a little bit of adhesive on the back. Stick this down onto my card base. I need to line up where I need this 
So I'm going to place it right here, I think is where I want it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this. And I'm gently gonna slip it into place. I'm gonna hold this down and just slide this underneath and then fit it right where I need it. Since it's a wet glue, I can move it around to where I need it. Add a little glue to the back, all the way around. Stick that down over top. Just line it right back up and just look at all that dimension. I have this beautiful shimmery white glitter card. I'm gonna use this cloud two pieces of cardstock and I'm just going to run them through the machine just like this so I get two clouds. Two cute shimmery clouds. I'm going to cut just a little bit off of this side and then just a little bit off of this side. I'll cut it at an angle because the windows are cut a little bit at an angle. A little bit of glue. Slide that back in there. So we got our little cloud poking out. Glue on this side. Let's just slide it up in there. It's so cute. Thank you so much to Off Nova. They sent a 10% discount code if you're interested in this die cutting machine. It's Missy10. It's linked here and in the description of this video. You will also find the link to the die cutting machine in the description of this video as well. I have my black cardstock for the little snowman hat, green for the cute little Christmas trees, red for the snowman scarf. I have just a plain, this is actually a textured cardstock, but for the little snowman, I'll stick him right there. And then I have the white glitter cardstock right here, and I'm gonna do my snowflakes out of the glitter card. Look how cute that little snowman is. <laughs> and he's not even finished yet. This is gonna be adorable. Take a little bit of glue to the back of my first snowflake that down right here on this side. Glue on the back, right over here. Put it down here, stick it right here. When you have die sets like this, there's just so much you can do with them. Shorty! so precious. She's purring like really loud right now. Shorty's wanting love right now. You want love from mama? <laughs> Shorty! She's so precious. Shorty, you're stepping on mommy card. No man, but I need the black parts. So I've got what was left after cutting out the snowman and I'm gonna put it over top of a piece of black cardstock. Pieces that I need go here. So I'm gonna outline the bottom part of the body, just like that. And then where the head is, I'm just gonna come down a little bit, do an outline. So I've got two pieces. I'll try to show you up close. See, well, I didn't trace very well, but that won't matter. But I need to cut out these two pieces. Turn over the back of the snowman. Put a little bit of glue on each side. And then that portion that I cut out of black for the snowman, I'm just gonna stick that on top. So that's what it's gonna look like from in behind. Dab a little bit of glue on the face, on the back of the snowman. Just a little bit, just like that. Turn it over and stick it right on top. Now we have our face and the little buttons of the snowman. Little top hat right there on top of his little head. Hold on, I'm grabbing this from the wrong, the wrong side. I'm not, I am not left-handed. That will be a disaster if I try. Just appreciate how cute that is. 
He's so adorable. I love this so much. I'm trying to hold this up close so you can see it, but there's a line like right there on his hat. I'm going to go in with the white metallic marker from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna trace that little line on his hat. And that's just gonna give it a little bit more detail. Glue the back, stick him right here. Now with that same blue shimmery glitter card stock, I cut out the words Merry Christmas. For the word Christmas, I'm gonna just do a little snip here. Cut that tail off, cause it will definitely be too long for my card. And then I'm gonna snip off of this little tail right there. The word Merry, I'm keeping it the same. I'm not doing anything to it because it will fit. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of my Christmas card? I think this is so cute and I absolutely always love shine and shimmer. I was really impressed by this die cutting system. If you're a beginner or you just want something to take somewhere to be able to do your embossing and your die cuts, this will work perfect for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell if you're interested in hack videos, organization, reviews, card making, all that fun stuff you'll find right here on my channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you in that next video. Shorty and Butters have been in the bay window sleeping. Brand new mouse toy. Look how cute. I can hear Shorty purring. Look at Butters. He's laying in the sun. He's so soft. And that's his favorite orange pom-pom toy. He likes to do tricks with it.